Season 20 Alexander just kicked off, and that means we are currently in the blue lock meta. That means one of my favorite builds is meta and viable for a limited amount of time again. That is, of course, the musket bomb build. So in this video, I'm going to be going over what this build is and show off some gameplay of it so you can see it in action. So let's begin with what is this build. So if you're familiar and you've been playing this game for a while, you'll be aware of this musket bomb build. It used to be pretty good back in the day, even in golden era. It got nerfed quite a bit, so it's not as good as it used, be, used to be, but it's essentially an AoE unit killing build focused around the black powder grenade and liquid fire. So what you wanna do is go full strength. So pour all your stat points here into strength, and then you're gonna wanna get the black powder grenade and the liquid fire. These have a 30, cooldown, 30 second cooldown and 40 second cooldown respectively, and you'll be using these to kill units. You can basically wipe out half of a ranged unit or a good amount of a melee unit like a halberdier that has limited armor with these two abilities. You will also be using caltrops as a support ability to slow those units down. So this in combination with these two abilities will allow you to set them up and then hit them with these two abilities to do massive AOE damage. And then you'll want to take skirmisher to allow you to get away. This also sets down a caltrop as well if you need an additional caltrop here. This is also a good build in general just as a supporting class to stop enemy pushes. So you can sit on top of a wall, throw down caltrops, throw down your two AoE abilities here, and you can pretty effectively stop big blobs of enemy pushes. Uh, so that's something that you can do with this, even in purple or golden era, you just won't be able to kill as many enemy units, only the ranged units because of their low health pool. Um, in the golden era, you won't really be able to take out much enemy infantry because of their higher health pool. So that's the basic build. Um, just go all strength and focus on these two AoE abilities and kind of just throw them out at will at big blobs of enemy units and rack up a ton of kills. So before I hop into some gameplay, I do want to mention one other thing in general, um, as I might make a video on this soon. So I think musket meta in general might be here to stay, just not with this particular build. So there is a new rune here called Poseidon's Tide that will basically make the hero killing potential of this class from the five rounds rapid ability much stronger by turning them into grape shots that deal a lot more damage. In the PTR, I was trying this out, and you could basically get a heavy armor class down to a fourth of their health, which is really strong. So we'll have to see, but I'm thinking um, a full Agi build with Musket might be a good hero killing meta class soon to come in the purple and golden eras, but we'll have to see how that plays out. So stay tuned. I will make a video on that if it turns out to be good. So all that being said, let's go ahead and show some gameplay of this build so you can see what it's like to play in game. All right, I got another game for you guys on Reginopolis. This is actually probably one of the best musket maps because of the choke points, especially the C point here. You can get up on this wall and just rain down bombs from up there and there's not much they can do. Hopefully we'll be able to get to C point. We'll see. This is a pretty hard map to attack, so sometimes they don't even make it that far. I'll also show off how you can stop the enemy siege towers if I'm able to here. Um, normally what I do is you can kind of swap in between attacking them with your siege equipment and your normal musket abilities. That works pretty well. They just destroyed this though, so I won't get the chance to do that, but that's okay. Uh, looks like most of the siege is destroyed here, so I'm going to have to wait for it to get a little bit closer to actually be able to hit them. Looks like someone might be trying to climb up over here. I do have to watch out for that. Um, as a musket, you're pretty vulnerable to melee heroes, so you really don't want them getting on the wall. They can take you out in a one-on-one pretty easily, especially like a chain dart or a class like that. But, um, he, this guy might get up here. I'm just gonna hit him a few times and probably run away. It's not much I can do against this guy. My build is definitely not a hero killing build, so I'm kind of at the mercy of my teammates being able to kill him. Probably should have just focused on taking out the siege tower, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I won't have time to get my abilities back before this lands, but you can kind of just pick them off like this too, if all you have is your normal ability. Um, you can put caltrops on the siege towers like this, and that can be pretty effective. Let me see if I can just get a few kills here. Oh, okay, that's not good. Don't want to get stunned like that. I'm just going to throw my bomb and then get out of here. There's no point in really fighting too much when you don't have your abilities because you're pretty useless. You're not going to do like hardly any damage with your basic attack, so you might as well just kind of run away for a bit until you recharge them. 
Um, the other thing to note about musket bombs is they can kill artillery, so- oh man, that might be a purple cannon that did a lot of damage. So you can throw your musket bomb at cannons and other artillery and that will actually take them out, which is a pretty good thing to do either at the start of a siege or just in general during the battle if they set up siege like that. So let me see if they still have any siege out here. I'm gonna try to take out this mortar. Sometimes it takes two, so I did a pretty good amount of damage to that, but it didn't kill it. Unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to wait for my cooldown on that. But we at least did pick a hero off here, which is nice. Unfortunately, he is um, hitting my guys here while I'm waiting for this cooldown. Hopefully our guy can go out there and take it out, maybe. Should be able to, I think. It's not much I can really do to support this. Again, the bad part about this build is you'll literally just have those two abilities. When they're on cooldown, you're kind of useless. Um, so just watch out for that. Alright, let's see. At this point, once my abilities are uh, off cooldown, I want to find the biggest blob of enemies I can and attack them. Ideally, you would be up high on a wall. Um, I just don't have the opportunity right now to do that, but you really do want to be on a wall if you can. Because when you throw bombs from a, a level angle like this, it's a little harder to get all the hits on the enemy troops. But the A and B point aren't ideal for doing that, so you, you just kind of have to work with what you got sometimes. Um, it looks like they might be attacking over here, so maybe I should support over here. This would actually be a better angle for me, so I, you see I can go over here. I can get up on these walls and fire down on them from here, so this is a much better angle for me to be working, actually. So I'm looking for the most vulnerable enemies. In this case, they're all lightly armored, so I can just take out all these guys pretty easily. I almost fell off there. But yeah, as so you can see, I'll pick up a few kills here and there, do, do a lot of damage. Um, he is healing his guys, unfortunately. And my team doesn't seem to want to stop the enemy heroes here. Not sure why, they really should be helping me here, but... Okay, now they're hopping in to help. There's actually quite a few enemy heroes. I'm actually about to take out another unit, because, um, yeah, they're about to make a push here. Um, I don't think I'll be able to in time. Let's see. I really hope... No, yeah, not gonna be able to. But I can use my bombs at least. I'm actually gonna get out of here, otherwise I will die. I'm gonna go up here and fire on them from up here. So, let's see. I'm trying to get a big blob of enemies to attack here, and maybe an enemy hero as well. That might be good. Okay, got a decent amount. Not amazing, but um, got a few of them here. I'm just gonna go ahead and heal while everything is on cooldown. I probably should have brought my shields over here. I kind of regret not doing that now. But you can see we're picking up a few kills here and there, and then when I am on cooldown, I'll just try to pick off the lowest uh, enemy health hero or whoever is kind of dieting our team. Um, they did take B, so we're actually going to have to fall back to C here, but I'm going to try to pick out a unit. I'm going to take my Janissaries out. I find the Janissaries are pretty nice for holding C point in the corner, as long as you have shields helping you hold. So I'm going to... Since I know they're going to be coming out of this little hole right here, I'm going to set them up like this. I normally would set them up in this corner, but I know they're about to come out over here. So I'm going to make sure to set them up right there so they can shoot down that little hallway, and then I'm going to drop some bombs on them from up here. Yeah, we've got a good mass of enemy units right there. Wow, just got a ton of kills. That was nice. Did a lot of damage there. Just going to go ahead and heal up while I have the chance. You can see my Janissaries are getting some nice shots on them as well. They're going to have a really hard time pushing through this right now. Oh shoot. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, luckily I was able to get out of there. That was um, a pretty bad situation to be in. I'm not sure what even happened there. I don't think there was a hero on the wall. I guess I just fell. That was weird. Now that we're taking this back, I should probably... Yeah. Um, actually, I'm going to throw my bombs real quick to help our team out. So let me just use those. Oh, that was kind of a waste, but that's okay. Now I'm going to move my guys to the corner over here. Since they're not pushing through this gate anymore, I'm going to focus on this gate, since I know they're going to push here next. 
And then this is really the best spot as a musket to be in on this map. You're going to want to get on this little gateway arch right here. And it's something to think about in general for any map you're playing on with musket. You're going to want to find uh, a big wall that's hard to get to you from. So in particular, you can kind of come up here and hop right here. This is like a really good spot because you can hit them all as they come up this ramp. And you can also set caltrops up to slow them down as they come up. It's actually super annoying to play against. Um, it's really effective. You can just take out a lot of them. This is super annoying to play against if you're the enemy. Um, so you're definitely going to get guys coming up here and trying to kill you when you do this. So just be prepared for that when it does happen. Looks like a musket was somehow able to come in and hit a lot of my Janissaries, which is kind of unfortunate. I'm going to maybe try to reposition slightly. They're a little exposed. I'm just going to reposition them a little bit. Okay, this is a good mass of enemy units right here, so let's go ahead and pop a bomb down there. Just get a lot of those guys burning. Even if you don't kill them, you're just being really annoying, and um, the fire damage will take them down over time. Some guys might even have to go heal. You'll see I'll take out a few of them here on their way back. So even if you're not killing them, you're just taking them out of the fight for a little bit so that they can't... Um, you know, attack their, uh, your guys, they can't help the, their team. I'm gonna maybe do one more cooldown. I think I'm actually gonna go switch to Zakali Militia like this guy's doing. Um, that should help me be able to kill more of these guys from the wall. They're a little more exposed because they can still come up this wall and kill your guys. So it's a little risky to do that, but since my Janissaries are down to 10, I think I might go do that here after this, after we deal with this push at least. Um, I'm saving my bomb, I'm looking, okay, no, no, here's a good opportunity. Throw my bomb, knock down those heroes and units, and then put a caltrop down so they can't move very fast. And then throw another bomb down on them from here. So you can see how effective this is at stopping enemy pushes. They got some ranged units out there too. Um, I'm on cooldown, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to go get new units while we still have this supply point. It's not a guarantee that we'll have this forever, so I want to go ahead and swap out here. Also heal up while I'm at it. So I'm going to take my guys up on the wall. This is actually a really good opportunity since we pushed them back. What I'm going to do is take these guys up on the wall with me. And so now not only can I throw bombs down, but these guys can too. So these guys are a pretty nice pairing with Musket. I'm going to get up, up on the wall as soon as possible um, so that I don't get picked off here. You got to get the angle right. But um, let's try, hold on, let me try right here maybe. I'm actually not sure if this is going to be able to hit him or not. And then immediately move your guys back so they can't shrub you guys here. Let's see if I can get a few of these guys killed. Not too bad. Okay, I'm going to throw at the stairs here. Let's see how many guys I can pick off here. Yeah, this is super <laughs> annoying to play against. I mean, there's not much they can do in this situation. They can try to rush down your guys, but um, it's pretty hard to do that, honestly. Especially if you have supporting teammates up here with you. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get these guys more ammo. There doesn't seem to be a push coming at the moment. So, here's some troops. I'm just going to throw down a Caltrop to slow him down so I can get some hits on him. I think they they might try to come kill me now. I've been pretty annoying, and it looks like it's mostly heroes from them right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if they come try to kill me from here. They stop this push over here. I should probably actually um, use my militia to attack these guys. It looks like they got it taken care of, though. So let me go ahead and bring my guys back up here. It looks like they're trying to push up again. So if I can get my guys up here fast enough, I'll be able to throw some bombs down. Let me see, I can maybe get a, a few down there at least. And then I'm going to move them over here to maybe get a better angle on them. I think they're maybe pushing over here, so let me see if I can't... Oh shoot, I missed that. I'm going to see if I can't throw some bombs from right here down at them. Um, right there should be good, I think. I want to get him out of here so the Rattans can't kill him. I don't think I even killed any of them there, but that's alright. Um, okay. Let's throw down at these stairs again. 
I'm gonna try to pick off the rest of those Rattan Marksmen over there so they can't kill my bombers. There's also some Alchemists that we picked off, it looks like. Alright, nice. Gonna take care of that guy. Alright, let's see. Where can we throw these? I want to see how far these can go. I'm actually not totally sure here. Let's see how far these go. Oh, that's pretty good. They land at like the bottom of the stairs, which is actually a really good angle. Um, they, seem, they seem to be retreating, so I'm going to take this opportunity to go get my guy some ammo. It looks like we're just like pushing out on them completely, so I'm going to try to support my team from up here. See if I can't hit a bunch of them here. Did some pretty good damage with that. Would love to have my Zapali militia right here. I would absolutely destroy these troops, but I need to wait for them. Hopefully they get back here pretty soon. Oh boy. We're getting hit by Rattans over there. So if I do bring my guys over here, they are going to get killed. But oh shoot, okay. <laughs> I guess I took more damage than I thought I was taking from those guys. The musket is pretty squishy, so you just got to remember that. But our troop kills, we're at 981 troops to their 594, so we are doing pretty well right now, I would say. Um, I, I doubt there's any way they're going to push on us. We have almost doubled their troops, and if anything, we're pushing on them. So at this point, it's kind of just having fun. Um, so let's see what we want to do here. I think I want to take out my... Um, I'll just take out the Zakali Militia again. Try to get a big uh, hit with the Zakali Militia at the same time as the Musket Bombs. That would be kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure which way they're going to come. I'm going to try to get back on the wall as soon as possible here to prepare for them. So let me see if I can bring my guys over here. They can knock this uh, wall down right here. So if it's getting low health, maybe just don't stand on it. Probably the right thing to do. Um... That should kill out of the range there. Nice. And then we should be able to get a decent hit, maybe? Let's see. Some of them do hit the wall, but I do get through, and those will be doing a lot of damage down there. Nice. Yeah, we're getting quite a few kills. And it's it's basically going to like stun their guys with the fire, so that's nice. Alright, let's see if we can hit them from this angle. Yeah, that's a pretty good angle right there. <laughs> There's not much they can do. <laughs> They're just burning alive. Oh my gosh. Let's just keep doing that. It's a pretty good uh, angle here. Here we go. All this liquid fire on them. Oh my god. Just absolutely melting these guys right now. Let's throw a bomb down there just for good measure. About to get 100 kills here. Yeah, I mean, this is like... <laughs> this is... I've played against this strategy. It is extremely annoying. This is definitely the best map for Musket. And this point in particular, there's just like... Almost nothing you can do against this. I mean, it's just really hard. Like, if your team is playing pretty well, it's just... There's almost no counterplay to this, unfortunately, for you. <laughs> so, oh my god, look at them burn. We're just getting tons of kills here. Alright, I can probably get one more volley before this game is over. So let me get some more ammo and come back here real quick. Alright, let's bring these guys back here. Looks like we're going to push out, maybe. I'll try to support that with a bomb here. Um, I'll go ahead and pull pull down to here. Since we're so far ahead, uh, we do have to watch out for the Rattans, but we can literally just come over here and throw our bombs straight down at this point. We don't need to be too shy about this. You can also just V-attack your Zakali Militia. Um, but at this point, I'm just going to send them in. Just going to let them go attack whatever they want. Um, I mean, we're pushing them out really hard here. You will have to get used to kind of the arc of your abilities and how far they go. There is a rune that lets you throw farther, so you have to get used to both throwing it farther and um, the default range of it. Um, but you kind of get used to it. At, you kind of get used to it after a while, though. Yeah, this game looks pretty well wrapped up here, though. So let's just go chase down some enemies now. Oh, maybe I'll take out another unit just for good measure. Um, Rattans are best for hero killing, so I'll take those out. Might just leave them here. Not really sure I need them to help anywhere. Let's try to help kill this guy. 
I can also use my Q to uh, block him from going this way if I want like that. Let me see if I can go chase him down. Um, muskets also pretty good on horseback because you can just kind of run around and you can reload on your horse, uh, which is pretty nice. So it's um, pretty good at actually taking other heroes off their horses because you can just shoot them, reload, kind of run around, don't let them hit you, and then shoot them again like this. So muskets pretty all nice also in general just for chasing down heroes like this. My ability is probably off cooldown. Let's see if I can get this guy. Yep, there we go. Oh, I also have my um, bomb back. I was going to try to hit that guy with it, but let's see if I can hit him with this one. It's not going to go far enough, I bet. No, but there you go. Yeah, so this is kind of the prime example of what this build can do in the best case scenario here. Um, Reginopolis defense is, even in Golden Area, I would say a pretty good map for Musket. Um, especially this build in particular is amazing on this map, especially that C point. I don't know if I've lost a game using Musket defending that C point. Definitely try it out, especially with this calling Militia combo. It's just nasty. It's pretty fun to play. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think about this build, what your favorite builds in Conqueror's Blade are. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. See you out in the battlefield.